Hi, I'm Malcolm. And I'm Rachel. We're two Canadians living on our 39-foot main ship trawler, living an adventure of a lifetime. We invite you to follow along as we travel 6,000 miles through Canadian and U.S. waterways around America's Great Loop. We're up bright and early. We're preparing to leave Snug Harbor and head farther north to Bing Inlet as we prepare to hunker down midweek uh, for some weather that's coming. So we're going to get up as far as we can today, probably about five, maybe six hours, depending on where we decide to ultimately stop. But it looks like it'll be a good day for travel.
be a marker. So, Captain, what did you see in your binoculars? Well, what I was looking for was the channel marker that we're going to be going to. So we've got to navigate our way up. It's not tricky, but it's a uh, anything up here is rocky. So we need to make sure we know where we are in relationship to the rocks and our anchorage. And where are we actually going? Well, we are going to the Bustard Islands, which is right in the north east of Georgia Bay. And um, it's supposed to be one of the most remote and beautiful places you can take your boat. And there's a lot of um, a lot of wilderness. There's a lot of wildlife, and there's not that many people. So um, that's a good combination for us. Cool. So cool. The Bustard Islands are made up of several large islands and many smaller islands, rocks and ledges. Located in the northeast part of Georgian Bay, the islands are uninhabited, with the exception of a few cottagers. The scenery is outstanding, with some excellent anchorages used by visiting boaters. The Bustard Islands got their name from the slow-moving game bird of northwestern Europe. These birds like to gather on isolated islands in large flocks. No, I don't think we're gonna get in there. It looks too shallow probably. Yeah, that's too shallow. Yeah, you probably could get in either side, but it looks pretty. But there's more to explore. 